morning, everybody. My name is Yam Narasimha Rao, lecturer in physics. <clears throat> Today, I am discussing pulley block system of Newton's laws of motion chapter 11th class of physics. Now, please listen. It is the smooth horizontal table. It is the smooth horizontal surface. Smooth surface means what? No frictional force. There is no opposing force between these two surfaces. M1 is the mass M1. Mass capital M. Mass M2. These three masses are connected by massless string. These massless strings are passing over the frictionless pulleys. The mass M1, the mass capital M, the mass M2, completely known as the system completely known as the system now i am over here this mass is uh, this mass m1 is more having the more value mass m2 is uh, having a less value it's example only it is uh, having 20 kg mass it is uh, having 5 kg mass example only now first of all I am holding the black. The system is in rest position. When I am removing my hand, this black is moving. This black is moving downward. At the same time, this black is moving up with the same acceleration. With the same acceleration. Here is the acceleration of the system. Here is the acceleration of the system. Now, now I am discussing on this first block how many forces are acting. On this block, there are two forces are acting. Weight of this block is acting vertically downward. Now this is the earth. This is the earth. Earth is attracting this body towards its center with some force. This earth is attracting this body towards its center with some force. This force we are calling as the gravitational force. Nothing but weight of the block. Now, on this block, its weight is acting vertically down. Weight is M1G. Now, this thread, this string is pulling the black vertically upward. This pulling force we are calling as a tension. T1 is the tension between the blocks of masses capital M and M1. My weight is acting vertically down. Your weight is acting vertically down. Cement bag weight is acting vertically down. Rice bag weight is acting vertically down. Your books bag weight is acting vertically down. Similarly, weight of this block is acting vertically downward. Same time, this rope is pulling the body up. This pulling force we are calling as a tension that is a T1. On this block of mass M1, there are two forces are acting. Weight is acting downward, tension is acting upward. Both are opposite in direction. Finally, this block is moving downward. The block is moving downward. The block is moving downward means downward force is more than the upward force. Now, I am talking about the free body diagram of 
मास एम वन फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम मीन्स वॉट ऑन दट बॉडी हाउ मेनी फोर्सेस आर एक्टिंग इन हाउ मेनी डायरेक्शन द फोर्सेस आर एक्टिंग रिप्रेजेंटेड ग्राफिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द डायग्राम दट डायग्राम वी आर कॉलिंग एज द फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक नाउ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द फर्स्ट ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम वन वेट इज एक्टिंग डाउनवर्ड टेंशन इज एक्टिंग अपवर्ड टेंशन इज एक्टिंग अपवर्ड फाइनली दिस ब्लॉक इज मूविंग डाउन दिस ब्लॉक इज मूविंग डाउनवर्ड द ब्लॉक the block of mass block of mass m is moving downwards the block is moving downwards downward force is more than the upward force its meaning is m1 g is greater than tension t1 T1 is the tension between the blocks of masses M1 and capital M. Now, two forces are acting in opposite direction. Resultant force means more value of force minus a less value of force. Resultant force is equal to resultant force is equal to it is moving down. Downward force is more M G minus T1. M G. Minus T1, more value minus less value. Force formula M A. Force formula M A. We are talking about first block. For that reason, I am writing M1 A. That is equals to M1 G minus T1. Now this is the equation number one. Now this is the equation number one. Now I am talking about the second block. of mass m2 free body diagram of mass m2 i am talking about the free body diagram of mass m2 on this block you see carefully my weight is acting down students you are weight is acting down ama lakshmi you are weight is acting down bye maresh you are weight is acting down ravi you are weight is also acting down right dumbo you are weight is also acting down similarly weight of this black is acting downward weight is acting downward weight is represented by mg its mass is m2 m2 its weight is acting down at the same time this rope is pulling the black up this pulling force we are calling as a tension the tension is t2 t2 is the tension between the blocks of masses capital m and m2 here these masses are different tension is t1 here masses are different tension is t2 on this block two forces are acting in opposite direction one force weight is acting down tension is acting up finally here its mass is more it is moving down its meaning is this body is moving up this body is moving up this body is moving up means upward force is more downward force is less now i am talking about the second body of mass m2 tension is acting upward weight is acting downward finally the block is moving up the block is moving this block is moving up the upward force is more downward force is less the block of mass m2 the block of mass m2 is moving moving vertically up vertically up its meaning is what upward force is more this body this body is moving up upward force is more tt is more than its weight tt is more resultant force means more value of force minus less value of force 
resultant force is equals to resultant resultant force is equals to resultant force is equals to t2 minus mj its value is 1 t2 minus mj force formula ma force formula ma according to newton second law force f is equal to ma force means ma we are talking about second body m to a is equals to t2 minus m to g now this is the second equation m1 represents mass of the first block m2 represents mass of the second block Capital M represents the mass of the block which is on smooth horizontal surface. T1 is the tension between blocks of masses M1 and M. T2 is the tension between the blocks of masses M to M, capital M. I am discussing about the free body diagram of the block of mass capital M which is on smooth horizontal surface. Now, on this block, this block is pulling a left side. This pulling force we are calling as a tension. T1 is the tension between the block of masses M1 and capital M. When the block is moving the left side, this rope is pulling the right side. This pulling force we are calling as a tension. T2 is the tension between the blocks. Of a mass is capital M and M2. On this block, there are two forces are acting. Tension T1 is acting left side. Tension T2 is acting right side. Two forces are acting in the opposite direction. Finally, the block is moving left side. The block is moving the left side. Its meaning is left side force is more. T1 is more than the T2. Now, weight of the block is acting down. Weight of the block is acting down. Then now this is applying some weight. This capital M is applying some weight on the surface of the table. At the same time, the surface of the table applies some force in upward direction that you are calling as normal reaction. But the block is not moving in along y direction. It is not moving along up and down. For that reason, upward forces are not taken into the consideration. Forces should be considered in the direction of motion. The block is moving horizontally. You take a horizontal forces. Don't consider these two forces. The reason is this block is not moving in this direction. Here, the block is moving left side. Left side force is more. Right side force is less. The block. The block of mass capital M moves left side its meaning is left side force is more T1 is more T1 minus T2 result T1 is greater than T2 resultant force is equals to resultant force is equals to T1 minus T2. Both are opposite in direction. T1 minus T2. Force formula MA. Force formula MA. Here mass is M. Capital M. Capital M A. T1 minus T2. It is equation number 3. It is equation number 3. Adding equation 1. Equation 2 and equation 3, we will get the acceleration of the system. Adding, adding 1, 2 and 3. Now please listen carefully. First equation, M1A is equal to, M1A is equal to, M1G minus T1. M1G minus T1. 
second equation m to a is equals to is equals to t to minus m to g t to minus m to g m the no third equation capital m a is equals to t1 minus t2 adding 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 minus t1 plus t1 cancel plus t2 minus t2 cancel m1 a plus m2 a m1 a plus m2 a plus capital m a is equals to m1 g minus m2 g m1 g minus m2 g now in these three terms i am taking small a common on a common means a small a common means a common remaining is m1 plus a common remaining is m2 plus a common remaining is capital m that is equals here g common g common g common g common here g common means remaining m1 minus m2 acceleration of the system small a is equals to m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 plus capital m into g small g represents the acceleration due to gravity substitute this value in equation 1 here in equation 1 we are getting tension t1 substitute this value in equation 2 we are getting tension t2 in this way we are finding tension t1 and t2 it is the expression for acceleration if you would like my video lesson please subscribe to my channel sai dinesh nm thank you